Have you seen the completely revamped NiceHash Miner? Well, let's check it out. Shane here, thanks for stopping by my channel. So today, as you guys have guessed, we're gonna look at the latest version of NiceHash Miner. They have completely revamped the interface and it's really pretty cool looking. Also, I'm gonna be picking a winner for my free Bitcoin giveaway, Bitcoin Friday, so stay tuned to see if you are this week's winner. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing, clicking that notification bell, and setting all notifications. And if you like this kind of content, hammer those likes. Let's get into it. As you guys know, from time to time, I like to do updates on these different types of profit switching miners, and I also include them in my Miner Cup series where I test them head to head. So in this video, we're looking over NiceHash and all of its new features, including a completely revamped interface. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the computer and I'll show you guys NiceHash's new miner running on my NVIDIA rig. And of course, we'll go through all the new features and interface. All right, so here we are in the NiceHash GitHub. As usual, everything I'm talking about will be down below this video, so don't worry about looking for any of this info for yourself. Latest version 3.0.0.8. Uh, I downloaded this zip package right here. And as usual, I went ahead and put it on my NVIDIA rig and I put it in its own folder. I do like to keep some of the older versions, especially on NiceHash. And of course, a lot of these profit switching miners, if I have that option, just in case the new versions don't always pan out. The last version I had, I did back in January 112 of 2020, and that was version 1.9.2.20. So you can see they've gone up pretty significantly as far as the versions. Now we are at basically 3008. So once you download it and unzip it, you'll just go into that folder, and here's the nice hash miner right here. You'll just double click on that. It'll go ahead and download all the miners like it normally does, do some updates, things of that nature. It won't take you that long to get it up and start mining with it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click on settings and put your actual wallet address in right here, which you can get from the dashboard of nicehash.com. So if you go back over to, go to rig manager right here, click on mining address, there's your actual wallet address right there. And of course, that's what you're gonna put in this little box right here. Worker name, of course, it's on my NVIDIA computer, so I called it NVIDIA Rig. A couple of new features in here. If you scroll down just a bit, you can change the day and you can put in your actual electricity cost and it'll actually um, show you the amount of profit you'll be getting as compared to the cost of your electricity, which I thought that was kind of neat. You can also have it selected to display that net profit if you want. So all you have to do to do that, just click that little radio button. Now when I pull up that miner, it should display the net profit. I am in the United States, so service location is for me, USA. And scroll down a bit more, and it's got the auto updates on the miner and everything. You can also go through advanced. There's a bunch of different miscellaneous things that you can do in here. There's a lot more features on this version. I'm not gonna go through everything on here and bore you guys, but it's really more robust than the more previous versions. So I really kind of like that. You guys can download it and go through it yourself. So on a dashboard right here, once it's all installed and ready to go, of course, all you can do is click start mining. Now, as you can see, it's benchmarking right now. So once you pull up this miner, it'll go through all of the algorithms, depending on what kind of GPUs you have, and then see what the most profitable coin is to mine like it normally does. That'll probably take about 30, 45 minutes or so. It took me about a half an hour. So if you head over to devices right here, this will just show you your actual GPUs on your rig. Two 1660 Ti's on this rig. Got my 1070 Ti, and then of course my 1066 gig. CPU is a Core i5-8600K. So while it's benchmarking, we'll head over to the actual benchmarks area. And it's got 13 benchmarks left to go ahead and go through and then it should automatically start mining away. One thing you're going to need to check on this new version, you click on plugins. This is just the actual miners that it's got installed. They won't all install at first. They will download, but they won't all install like XMR Stack and XMR Stack RX did not install. 
Uh, Crypto Dredge did not install, and I think it was Mini Z did not install. So all you have to do is go ahead and click install, and you should be good to go. So let's head back over to dashboard right there and we are still benchmarking. So this is a, a pretty big difference compared to the last version. We'll go ahead and pull up the last version so you guys can show you what it looked like real quick. That's why I always keep some of these old versions in here. Hopefully it will not go ahead and mess up with the current version running right now. So this is what the old version looked like. I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with that. If you do have the old version, it will prompt you to download the new one right there. I just like this newer version as far as its interface. I thought it was uh, a lot more cleaner and intuitive. So as you can see, it's finally done benchmarking and it looks like everything is mining right now. It looks like it's mining Dagger Hashimoto right now, which is going to be Ethereum. Let me go ahead and close the old version right here. We're back over to dashboard and it should take a little bit to spool fully up. It's only at about 88 cents right now. I think before when I stopped it, it was at like $1.73. It would vary and fluctuate between $1.73 and almost $2 a day on my actual NVIDIA rig right now. So what I'm going to do on this is I'm gonna let my um, actual NVIDIA rig run for a little bit, probably 24, 48 hours. I have been running Kudo Miner previously on this along with my AMD rig, I had them both on Kudo Miner running and going. So I'm gonna let Nice Hash run for a while and see what it does. So that's NiceHash's latest version of their miner. Again, if you guys are interested, link will be down below to go ahead and try that out for yourself. If you have the new version, let me know what you guys think down below. I'm always interested in your guys' feedback. But right now, let's go ahead and hop over to my website and pick a winner for this week's Bitcoin Fridays. All right, so here we are on thecryptofish.com. Again, don't forget, enter your email address, click subscribe. YouTube doesn't always notify you guys of my interest to win videos that come out. This is just another way for me to get in contact with you guys, let you know the interest to win video did in fact come out, so you can come over and watch it and enter that week's Bitcoin Fridays contest. So let's go ahead and go to the dashboard. Bitcoin Fridays giveaway for 2420. Only had 61 contestants this week. 3,490 entries. Let's click on manage giveaway. All right, so all I can do is click this draw button right there and it will automatically pick a winner for this week's contest. Again, if you don't win, I do this every week just as long as Bitcoin is above 7K. So just make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and also to my email list so you'll be notified when that enter to win video does come out. All right, let me go ahead and click draw. Good luck, everybody. And let's see who this week's winner is. All right, we've got Joe S. Congratulations, Joe S. for winning this week's Bitcoin Fridays. Let me go ahead and confirm Joe. All right, Joe, you've been confirmed. Let me go ahead and notify Joe. Joe, you should be receiving an email here shortly. Just respond to that with your Bitcoin wallet address, and I will go ahead and send this week's winning on over. I want to thank you for playing this week, Joe. I want to thank every one of you guys out there for playing. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any additional questions or comments, be sure to put them down below. I would really appreciate it. And I also like interacting with you guys. Again, if this is your first time here, consider subscribing, clicking that notification bell. Be sure to share this video. It helps the channel out, helps me get the word out about my channel. I would appreciate that. We do have the Bitcoin happening here coming up in just a couple of weeks. If you guys missed my Bitcoin price prediction video for the next top, be sure to check that out. It'll be popping up here shortly. I want to thank you guys for watching today. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.